Biofuels are big news and big business at the moment. Most are made from agricultural crops like corn. In theory, turning harvests into the liquid fuel bioethanol is green and sustainable. But some critics argue that it's taking too much land out of food production and pushing up food prices. Now the challenge is to make biofuels from the inedible parts of crops and other materials. And as Bryony Leyland reports, one high-tech company in Guildford says it's found a way to do just that with the help of Mother Nature. The secret to generating ethanol from previously unused parts of plants lies here because scientists discovered that a bacterium which lives in most compost heaps not only loves devouring woody plants and stalks but also generates ethanol as it does it. And here is that talented bug and its many friends. They've been tweaked in the lab to increase the amount of ethanol they make. It takes sugar, takes it into the cell, and it converts it almost directly into ethanol. It's a very simple two or three step process. Usually to make ethanol, crops are fermented with yeast. This process is similar, but the bacteria do the work of the yeast, and they are unfussy eaters. Yeast can only work with starchy grains, but this patented bacteria in the beery soup here have an appetite for all kinds of tough stuff, from household waste to thick grasses. We had 10 weeks of operation. Um, uh, it took a year to build. Here at this trial plant near Guildford, the bacteria's ability to make ethanol from many different sources is being tried out on a large scale. The company involved says the technology means biofuels will no longer be using up valuable food. This lives with food production. We take the byproducts, wheat straw being a perfect example, the growth of wheat leaves the straw and we can take that byproduct and turn it into ethanol. So the food v fuel debate is no more. That's a big claim and some environmental campaigners say these so-called second generation biofuels are more of a PR promise than a commercial reality. But TMO Renewables are confident the technology that began here on the compost heap can produce food free biofuels on a big scale. They say their clients will be doing just that by 2010. Brian Leyland, BBC Saturday in Guildford. It's an interesting look into the future, perhaps.